a nation fires a million dollar missile. It hits its target perfectly, but the target was a fake. It was designed to be hit. This is real. This is happening now. This is the secret weapon changing air warfare, the decoy. Welcome. Today we are going to explain one of the smartest tools in modern combat. It's not a new jet or a secret missile. It's an idea. The idea of tricking the enemy into wasting their best weapons on ghosts. We will show you how it works in the simplest way possible. We will focus on how Israel has used this idea to protect its pilots and win battles without firing a single shot from a real plane. Think about a guard dog. Its job is to bark at an intruder. But what if you could throw a piece of meat that smells like an intruder? The dog runs to the meat, barks, and eats it. But while the dog is busy, the real intruder walks right past. That is what a decoy aircraft does. It is the piece of meat for an air defense system. Let's start with the basics. How does an air defense system work? Imagine it's a dark night. You are blind, but you have a flashlight. That flashlight is radar. You turn it on and sweep the sky. When the light hits something, it bounces back. You see the reflection. You know something is there. That something could be a bird, a plane, or even just clouds. But if it looks big and fast and is coming toward you, you must assume it is an enemy. You must sound the alarm. Now, what if you could make a small, cheap object that reflects the radar light exactly like a big, expensive fighter jet? That is a decoy. To the radar operator staring at the screen, the small decoy and the big jet look identical. They are just a bright dot moving fast. The operator has a choice. Ignore it or treat it as a real threat. In war, ignoring a potential threat can mean death. So, they almost always treat it as real. They turn their full system on. They track it. They prepare to fire. This is the first victory for the decoy. It has made the enemy show itself. Israel did not invent this idea, but they have perfected it. They are a small country. They cannot afford to lose many pilots or their advanced fighter jets. Every pilot is precious. Every jet costs more money than most of us will see in a lifetime. So, they had to find a smarter way to fight. They asked a simple question. How can we make the enemy waste their strength before we even risk our own people? The answer was the decoy. Here is how Israel uses it. Before a real mission, they send out a group of decoys. These decoys fly toward the enemy's border. They fly like real planes. They show up on radar like real planes. The enemy sees them coming. The enemy commander thinks, this is an attack. He orders his defenses to activate. Radars all over the country switch on. Missile batteries come to life. Communications between command centers buzz with activity. They are getting ready for a fight. But Israel is watching this happen. From high above, with satellites and listening planes, they watch every radar that turns on. They map its exact location. They listen to the radio calls. They learn. Now they have a complete picture of the enemy's entire air defense network. They know where every weapon is. They know how the enemy talks and makes decisions. All of this priceless information was paid for by a few cheap decoys. Now Israel has two choices. Choice one, they can send their real jets, but now they know exactly where to fly to avoid the missiles. They know which radars to jam with electronic signals. Their pilots are safe because the enemy's eyes are blind. Choice two, they can use this information to destroy those air defenses first. They can fire missiles at the now exposed radar sites and missile batteries. They clear a safe path in the sky for any future mission. This is how a small, cheap decoy can win a battle before it even starts. Let's talk about money, because war is very expensive. A modern air defense missile can cost between $100,000 and several million dollars, one missile. A decoy drone might cost $20,000. So, if Israel sends a $20,000 decoy and the enemy fires a million dollar missile at it, Israel just won that trade. They made the enemy spend 50 times more money than they did. Now, imagine doing this 10 times or 20 times. You can make a rich enemy poor very quickly. You can drain their stockpile of missiles. When the real attack comes, they have nothing left to shoot. This is economic warfare. Israel uses decoys to win the war of money. There is also the human brain to think about. An air defense operator sits in a dark room for hours staring at a screen. It's a stressful job. 
Lives depend on their choices. Now, imagine their screen suddenly fills with 10, 20, 30 targets, all coming from different directions. Their heart starts racing. Their commander is yelling in their ear, which ones are real? They have to decide in seconds. This pressure causes mistakes. They might fire at all the targets and run out of missiles. They might freeze and not fire at the right one. They might turn off their radar in confusion. This mental pressure is a weapon. Israel's decoys are designed to create this panic. They are weapons of the mind. What do these decoys look like? They are often simple. Some look like small planes with straight wings. Some are just tubes with fins. They don't need to be beautiful. They just need to fly in a straight line and reflect radar. Some are launched from trucks on the ground. Some are dropped from other aircraft. Many are so simple they are used once and lost. That's okay. Their value is not in returning home. Their value is in the confusion they cause and the information they provide. Israel has many types. One well-known example is the Samson decoy. It's a small unmanned drone that can fly for a long time and mimic the radar signal of a fighter jet. It's like an actor playing a role. Its performance convinces the audience, the radar system, that it is the real star. But the decoy never works alone. It's part of a team. While the decoy flies, other Israeli machines are working. Electronic warfare planes fly nearby, sending out powerful signals to jam enemy radars, making the confusion even worse. Spy satellites take pictures. Listening devices record every radio signal. It's a full orchestra of technology, and the decoy is the conductor's first note. It starts the whole song. Timing is everything. If you send the decoy too early, the enemy will shoot it down and then have time to get ready again. If you send it too late, the real jets will arrive first and be in danger. The decoy must arrive at the perfect moment, just one or two minutes before the real attack. This requires incredible planning. Israel practices this over and over. They plan every second of the mission. They know the speed of the decoy, the speed of their jets, the reaction time of the enemy. This precision turns a simple trick into a winning strategy. So what can an enemy do to stop this? It is very hard. They can try to build better radar that can tell the difference between a decoy and a real plane. This technology is called discrimination, but it is not easy. A good decoy is built to fool even smart radar, and even if the radar suspects it is a decoy, can the commander afford to be wrong? If he ignores it and it is a real plane, his whole base could be destroyed. The decoy puts him in an impossible situation. Another defense is to stay hidden. Do not turn on your radar when you see a single target. Wait. See what happens. But in war, waiting is a luxury you often don't have. Seconds matter. This is the genius of the decoy strategy. It attacks the enemy's decision-making process. It makes them doubt themselves. It turns their greatest strength, their powerful radar, into a weakness, because turning it on gives away their position. We have seen this strategy in real life. While details are often secret, military experts believe Israel has used decoys in several conflicts. Before a strike on a well-defended target, strange signals appeared on enemy radar. Missiles were fired at empty sky. Then, real strikes happened with little resistance. The enemy's expensive shield was shattered by a cheap, simple trick. This is not just theory. It is proven on the battlefield. The story of the decoy teaches us a bigger lesson about modern war. Winning is not about who has the biggest army. It is about who has the smartest plan. It is about using your brain against the enemy's brawn. A small country like Israel must fight this way. They cannot match their neighbors in numbers, so they must beat them in intelligence. The decoy is a perfect symbol of this, a simple, low-cost tool that defeats complex, high-cost weapons. This also affects peace. When a country knows its multi-million dollar air defense can be tricked by a drone that costs less than a car, it changes their thinking. They become less sure of themselves. They may be less likely to start a fight. The fear of the decoy can help keep the peace. What does the future hold? 
Decoys are getting smarter. Future decoys might fly in large groups, like swarms of insects, to create an even bigger, more confusing picture. They might be able to change their radar signal in flight, pretending to be a different type of plane. They might work with artificial intelligence to react to the enemy's moves in real time. As air defenses get better, the decoys will evolve to beat them. This race between hiding and finding, between truth and lies, will never end. For Israel, the decoy is more than a weapon. It is a philosophy. It is the belief that technology and clever thinking can keep their people safe. It allows them to defend their nation without always sending their sons and daughters into the most dangerous skies. It is a tool of protection. To wrap up, remember this. The next time you hear about an air battle, think beyond the missiles and jets. Think about the invisible war of signals and screens. Think about the small, silent decoy that flies first, sacrificing itself so others can live. It is a humble hero of modern warfare. This is how you win without fighting the enemy's fight. You change the rules. You use their strength against them. You trade metal for information and cost for confusion. That is the power of the decoy. If this makes sense to you, please like this video. It helps us a lot. And subscribe to War Tech Zone. We explain real military tech without the confusing terms. We make it clear and straightforward. Tell us in the comments what is another military tool or strategy you want us to explain simply. Thank you for watching.